Hello and welcome to this new tutorial where I'll, you try to explain how to create that effect that you saw in the beginning of this video. Um, I will explain only to create two of those effects because the others are basically changing the textures and nothing more. Uh, as usual, I have a, a scene prepared for the tutorial. This is uh, a simple character I created uh, some time ago. Uh, I have also the sunlight. I've changed it to Blender Game Engine because we have more control in the options of the sun uh, and a simple plane. To start will be oh, uh, before that we have to to change in the shading to from multi texture to GLSL and we'll be using here the texture to to see the effect of the material because we we will be using the nodes to create a, a more complex material and at the same time we can see the shadows projected by the sun. So uh, First, we'll be, we will create the material, so new material, we change the intensity to the maximum, that's one, and change the color to white. We remove the specular, and before starting, we'll, we'll create the texture we'll be using, the four textures. So we change to the texture panel, new texture, we change that to shadow shadow zero for the first one and open textures I have the, all these textures will be available to download I will be adding a link in the description of the video to download the scene and the textures so we'll be using this one you have more you can create your own textures probably you can make something better than this. I'll be using the this one these ones for the the tutorial. So I shall select the shadow twenty. We'll be creating uh, three more. So we press the plus button here. We change the name to shadow one and open the shadow twenty one. Again, create a new, a new one, shadow 2, and we select shadow 22, another text tool, the last one, shadow 3, we open the shadow 23. So if we have all the shadows created, we remove this one here, we, we don't need the text here. So uh, we'll be using the nodes to create the material, so we have to activate this this button here. The you you see that it changes to black, but we'll be making changes now to create the material. So we split the viewport in two, and we change this this part to node editor. In the material, we select the material we created, and for starter, we will be creating the, that effect, the, the most uh, simple one, which is black and white. So, to do that, we add a converter math, math and change the add to greater than. As you can see, we all have we. We have the defect, the black and white uh, uh, the comic effect. So, changing this value, we we choose all match the all the the text to influence the the object. So, for this example, we'll be using point two five zero. 
you can change the value to, to anything you want to better control the colors or, or if you want to use textures instead of black and white we can add a color mix RGB the greater than we connect to the factor and the first color will be the black second oops the white okay if you want to use that texture you just connect texture to this to these colors so we have the most simple effect created now we'll be creating the most complex one and to do that we'll start adding the text we, we created a while a, a few the text we created before so select here the shadow zero and we change the name copy the name to the label so we know which of the text we are selecting I'm going to hide with the H key to have more space and we duplicate this three more times okay shift D and now we can press shift R to repeat the same the what we did before so now we change the textures shadow one we change the name to shadow one the third texture to shadow two and the last one to shadow uh, now we need to to plug the the vector the coordinates we'll be using to the to be to use in our textures so let's give a little more space we add a geometry and in this case I'll be using the local okay. you can use any of these you can play around and see what you like the most in my case I'll be using the local I think is, is fine for this effect I'll be splitting this with shift and left mouse click you can get and I'll be using, adding um, a vector mapping so we can control the size of the testers will probably will be changing the, these values here now we need to to add four color ramps so converter color ramp again we're going to duplicate this one shift 3 and shift r shift r to the to the factor of the color ramp we'll be using the color of the material okay let's get here and connect same to each color ramp now we have to change the the position of the black and white colors for the first one we'll be using 0 0.150 to the second one the black will be 0.150 and the white Point, uh, 0.350 the third will, the black will be 0.350 three, and the white 0.550 and the last one the black will be 0.550 and the white 0.900 now we we'll have to to add four mix RGBs. These will be the the textures. We'll be plugging the textures to this. So let's duplicate these three more times. We connect the the last one. The second color will be white, and the first color will be the last texture shadow 3 the most white texture okay uh, let's connect all the textures to the mixer UVs so 
the third one to the first color of the third mix RGB this one second to the first color of the second RGB and the first one to the first color of the first mix, mix RGB and to the second colors of each uh, mix will connect the, the next the result of the next mix so the color to the second this one here and this here and for the factor we connect the color ramp to each one so the first to the first the first color ramp the second color ramp to the second mix the third color ramp the third mix and the fourth color ramp to the fourth mix so now we connect the the first mix RGB to the output and we have already the defect the comic effect we we saw in the video so we have to change the size of textures so we change to 10 and you can see the effect of the material is working fine now we if you want to in this case the the eyes and the mustache of the character we want to to change them to black color instead of white we can do that instead of creating a new material we be using a vertex colors it's easier and we don't need to, to recreate the same thing to a new material so to do that we'll be adding a vertex color here and we have to paint our the the eyes and the mustache to black. So to do that, we will be selecting the 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 eyes with L key and the mustache, not the head. Okay, we change here to vertex paint and by default by default the all the vertices are all the vertices are white so we have to change the ones that we selected to black to do that we select this button here and press shift k to paint all the ver selected vertices to to black so we have that or done so we change to object mode and again to the texture and to apply the black to the eyes the only thing we need to do is select here in geometry uh, colors of the vertex the one we created and connect the vertex color to the first color to the color of the material as you can see that the, the eyes and moustache are now black as we want uh, the next thing we'll be doing is creating the, the line around our, our character to do that we go to the modifiers and apply a solidify now we uh, select the flip normals as you can see we can already see the, the line but it's too thick we, we change the offset to 1 and the thickness to 003 I think is fine you can play around with these values because in different objects probably, probably these values won't work we also can activate this even thickness and we have the, the line already in our shared as you can see here we have the line now we can apply the same material to the ground so we select the ground and apply the material that we need to add the vertex core but in this case you can see that the ground is using one of the textures 
uh, that we want to use only uh, black and white in this case you can see in the white part of the ground we, we are using probably this texture here it's shadow tree which is the most white one <coughs> but we want uh, a clear white not this uh, to use any of the textures but in the in the dark in the shadow parts we want to use the first uh, texture which is the darkest one so to to do that we will go into limit the, this effect to the objects we want to apply uh, the, the effect the complete effect of the material and others objects we only want black and white so to do that we'll go into add an another vertex color we change the name to limit and in this case to the character we, we leave them all the vertices to white uh, which is the default color to all the vertices in the, in the vertex color and in the ground or any object that we only want black and white so change the name to limit we go into paint all vertices to black to do that again go to vertex paint and we have the black we disable this button here and shift k to paint all vertices to black if we change here to solids you can see that all the vertices are black so now the only thing we need to do is come here to the to the material we had a new mix RGB this one we want white and second color and in the first one we want the, the first uh, texture the, the darkest one so and for the factor you'll be using the first color ramp okay now go, we add another mix RGB we connect this one to the first color of this mix RGB and second color will be the first mix RGB that we created before so and the factor we have another input geometry we select the limit vertex colors and connect it to the factor and if you, if you look here we connect the, the last mix RGB to the color and you can see the ground now has a complete white where the sun is where there's no shadows and the part where the shadow we use we are using the the first texture so i think that's everything we need to to do yes i think the material is finished the tutorial is that and this is the effect i hope you can use this to anything or learn how to create something similar to any project or whatever you want and and that's it i hope my english was good enough to understand i my apologies for my bad english but i hope you can use this for anything so i see you in in another tutorial and until then best for you. Bye.